Today, we're gonna show you 11 ways that you can make money with your car. Number six is a trip you won't wanna miss. This is Tyler from The Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to tell you 11 ways that you can make money with your car starting this week, some right away. Let's dive in. The first way that you can make money with your car is by delivering food. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can either go around to the different restaurants in your area and find out if they're looking for drivers. We'll call that the old school way of making money with uh, delivering food. The new way, and what I consider the better way, is to drive for Uber Eats or Postmates or DoorDash, where you can get many, many different restaurants that are all delivering food. And that way you're able to kind of make more money because you, you're not stuck with just the one restaurant hoping that that one restaurant is going to be busy. You can make money no matter what restaurant, what type of restaurant, what day of the week it is based off that. I've actually tried many of these different ways that we're going to be discussing today. And this is probably the best per mile average that I've received, sometimes making a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars, even three dollars per mile that I've driven uh, on average on some nights. So this is a really good way to make money with your car. The second way is to rent your car out. Now, especially right now, there's a pandemic going on. Many of us are finding that we're working from home rather than going to an actual place to work. So maybe you have an extra car that's just sitting out in your driveway. Maybe you have two cars and the family only needs one to get through, you can make do, or, or whatever the case may be. But regardless, you could rent your car out to other people that whether they need it for driving for Lyft or Uber or whatever the case may be, or maybe they just need it to get around town, um, but you're able to rent your car out. You can use services like Hire Car or Turo, and they even have calculators to kind of try to figure out how much money you'd make. And you don't need a new car, a brand new car, or one that's in perfect condition or whatever the case may be, um, but you do need a good car. Even my car, which is 14 years old, they estimate I'd be able to make about $300 a month off of my car, which again is 14 years old. So even a, a new car is not required. However, the better the car you got, the more money you're gonna make. So something to consider when you're trying to make some money with your car. The third way that you can make money with your car is by advertising. Now, if you're already driving for a ride share, such as Lyft or Uber, you can add advertising to the car, to the driving as you're going. So services such as Vugo, which allow you to put a device in your car that'll give your passengers something to read or watch or whatever the case may be, a game to play, and it'll add a little bit of extra money to uh, what you're doing. Um, and allow you to make some extra money while making money, which is great. Now, don't worry if you don't drive for Lyft or Uber or any other rideshare company, that doesn't mean that you can't make money. Um, there's other advertising companies out there, things that will uh, put wraps around your car so that you can make some money. Um, services, um, we're looking at sites such as Rapify or Carvatize. You can sign up and they'll give you a flat fee per month based off of how much uh, you agree upon ahead of time. So you can make really a few hundred dollars by doing some advertising, even if you don't already drive um, for Lyft or Uber. Our next way is through rideshare driving, Lyft, Uber, now, a lot of times people are a little hesitant to do this. Uh, maybe they, it's a new car, they don't want to get it messed up, or they're scared about the type of people that are going to be taking the, pass, the, the rides and they don't want to get involved. It's terrifying. I know I was terrified when I first started, but um, very quickly you understand that it, it's something that's fun. You get to talk with people on a regular basis, it's enjoyable, um, and you get to make a really a great amount of money driving uh, your car around. You can play your music or whatever the case may be. A lot of times I like to, in between passengers, I'll have an audio book going and then I switch back and forth between music. So it's a lot of uh, really good stuff going on with driving for a rideshare company and a great way to make some money. Our next way to make some money is to deliver other goods. So we talked about delivering um, food. We talked about the passengers and things like that, but these are other goods. So things like um, Amazon Flex, Instacart, Shipped. So things like groceries, things that um, people need for regular staples in their family or actual staples. Maybe they need things from Amazon. They've ordered a staple, um, office supplies. Um, you can even get alcohol um, that people have ordered. So other things besides food and um, people can be delivered with your car. 
Now, our sixth way is really, I think, a lot of fun. So um, sites like Airbnb have a service where you can get a tour. Now, you can be a tour guide for our sixth way on how to make money with your car. Become a local tour guide. Um, when you go to Airbnb, it's not just to find a cheap place to live or, or a cheap place to stay for a week or a month or whatever the case may be. You can also go in there for tour guides. Maybe it's a, a city that um, you have a lot of historical buildings or maybe a museum or maybe a brewery that you just really like and you can design a brewery tour or whatever. Just learn about the city. Odds are if you live in a city where you can make money with your car through driving for Lyft or Uber or any of these other ways we've already talked about then there's something in your city that people will pay to want to enjoy and have someone show them so go on to Airbnb see what's already there for the local tour guides and things like that and and to get started kind of underpriced just a little bit to get everything started until you could become established our seventh way that we can make money with our car is by being a handyman now this requires more than a car, you have to have some skills, but really most handymen don't need to have complete construction skills. They don't need to know how to do every single thing in a house. Maybe you just know a little bit of plumbing or a little bit of drywall or a, a little bit of, of anything, then you can be a handyman and loading your car up with the correct tools, which is half the battle with most of these things. Most people just don't have the tools to do what they need to to fix whatever it is in their house. So if you have the tools, load your car up and make some money as a handyman. Number eight, move people with your car. Now, we've already talked about rideshare driving, so that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is actual people who are moving from one location to another. So they're moving um, usually within the same city. They've got a new apartment, a new house, whatever the case may be. And, and there's services already in place for this, but they cost sometimes thousands of dollars. Um, and if you've got a vehicle, a van, an SUV, a truck that can carry some of this stuff, and you've got a friend that can help you move it, you can make a couple hundred dollars in really a few hours by moving things. Uh, typically, they've already got everything packed. You just have to load it on a truck and unload it. And then they, again, unpack it for you. So... Um, or for themselves. So you take a couple of hours to load things up, move it over, and you can make a couple hundred dollars um, by loading up your car. The next way to make money with your car is by scrapping. So there's really two ways to make money through scrapping. So the first is you kind of go around and you see different areas, like people have thrown things away that you know you could go to a scrapyard, turn in and make some money. Um, so by doing that, you can load the car up, take it there, unload it, make some money. So that's really the quick and easy way, but you could go a step further. You could actually start to try to find people that are getting rid of things. A lot of people don't realize that you can make money with these things. And so what they do is they just throw it out. So some of them don't think that their trash company will take it. And some of their trash companies don't take it. So what you do is you offer hauling services. And you can charge $50 or $100 to haul something away. People will pay that because they don't know. Some of the stuff, yes, you're going to have to take to the dump and pay a couple dollars to dump it. But some of the stuff you're actually going to be able to scrap and make some money. So you're actually going to be double dipping on making money with your car by scrapping. The next way that you can make money with your car is by flipping things. So what I mean by this is you buy things like an old bookshelf or a dresser or a bureau if you're from up north or a kitchen table, whatever the case may be. Or maybe you don't buy it, but you find it on the side of the street or someone's giving it away for free. You do some quick fixes. So an example would be uh, a dresser that is banged up, scratched up. You get it for say $15, $20. You take it home, you sand it, you paint it, and then you resell it for $100 or $150. So you've just made some nice profit off of that. So by flipping things, you load your car up with the furniture that people are getting rid of. Uh, then you can even charge a delivery fee to people that want to uh, pick it up, that, that want to buy it, um, that don't have a vehicle that they can pick it up. So you can make even more money by doing that. And then our 11th and final way to make money with your car is by filling your car up with paint supplies, some rollers and brushes and all of those things, and then start offering painting services. So we're not talking about painting whole houses, although if that's what you want to do, 
um, but more painting rooms or painting all the rooms in a house for someone who's trying to sell it, you know, get with a realtor friend or whatever the case may be, offer that service and you can undercut a lot of people because they have a lot of overhead in this, but really painting supplies are super easy to get and you can get started uh, right away with that. So those are 11 ways that we have found to make money with your car. Some of them you can start right away. Now, what's your favorite way to make money with your car? Let us know in the comments below, or you can email us. And we release a new video every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. All right, drive safe, everyone.